Hey guys, welcome to Atari 37, and uh, this is the Avengers um, gift set uh, part two. So I was gonna do it as one video. I was kind of debating where to do it in two parts, and then I decided to do it in one video. But then my phone started down. I was like, well, it's gonna end up being a two-parter. And I already looked at Iron Man and uh, four and Ant Man and Wasp in the previous part. So uh, today I'm gonna be looking at Giant Man and Hulk, and uh, then sharing my final thoughts on this. So, here we have the Hulk, and uh, as you can see, he looks pretty good. He's got a lot of brown shading in him for his veins. And one thing I really like about this Hulk figure that is kind of cool that I noticed uh, in between takes is, if you look on the box here, this is the cover of Avengers Issue 1. Um, if you look particularly at the Hulk's hands, you'll notice he has this opened hand and a fisted hand on the cover and also on the figure. So I really like that while the arms, you know, like it kind of looks weird how they sculpted them like this, but I think they were actually trying to replicate his actual look on the cover. And I think that's pretty cool. And I noticed four is the same way a little bit because he's got the open hand and then he's got the uh, closed hand for his hammer. So I think that's kind of cool. Iron Man and Ant-Man and Wasp are a little different, but considering how their poses are, it would kind of be hard to kind of like do that for them. So yeah, um, that is kind of interesting. The detail on the face is good. It's kind of blocky. He definitely looks like the original Hulk. He's got his teeth in there. He's got some green on the hair. You can see the purple trunks. I like the wrinkles that they did. Definitely makes it look like the comic book version. And um, yeah, the shading's nice. In terms of articulation, you got a 360 at the head, and you got 360 at the arms. They swing out the shoulder. You have 360 at the wrist. There's a 360 at the torso. The legs kick forward. They've got that weird uh, 360 that joint that a lot of the older action figures had. You have bendability at the knee, and the feet move up and down. So yeah, um, a lot of people kind of criticize says Hulk as like the worst looking thing about the set but personally I don't mind him I think he actually looks pretty good and I really like that they tried to replicate kind of that look from the actual comic so um yeah not my favorite character from the set but I definitely think he's a lot better than um what some of the people say so yeah and lastly the main part of the set and personally my favorite reason for getting this and main reason for getting this is the giant man figure so this giant man is really cool I would say he's probably about 8 inches tall. Um, he's definitely taller than modern day Marvel Legends. Like, I can actually have one here I can show you uh, really quickly a comparison. This is him beside Captain America from the new Abomination Wave. And uh, as you can see, he's definitely a lot taller than that Captain America. But as compared to Iron Man from this set, he's definitely a lot bigger. And the reason for that is just, I don't believe at the time Toy Wiz was really making six inch action figures. They were kind of more on the five inch slash four inch scale. So while some people might criticize this giant man, really, to be honest, this is probably about a good height for like Toy Biz's original scale. And again, he's still bigger than the current Marvel Legend, so I think it's pretty good. And uh, the details in his face are really nice. He's got little antennas up there. He's got his blue eyes. Um, he's got the free stripes on each side of the helmet. He's also got the uh, free that go back here. And he's got this red suit, but there's some dark shading on it that makes it look really good. That's all around the suit. He's got a silver belt, the blue trunks, and uh, the blue boots with the little cuts in them, which I think are nice. And the gloves are also the same way. So I think in terms of detailing, this giant man is really cool. And fun fact for you guys, Toy Biz actually did reuse this sculpt. Um, I don't remember what wave it was, but at one point they made a Goliath figure, and I don't know if they gave him a new head, I don't believe they did, but they repainted this giant man to look like Goliath, and the Ant-Man and Wasp from this set were also released. I considered picking that up uh, just to get this giant man, but I ultimately decided to wait because I want a more classic looking giant man. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of interesting. And in terms of articulation, you got a 360 at the head, um, you got 360 at the arm, swing out the shoulder, bendability at the elbow, and you got a 360 at the torso, the legs kick forwards and backwards, you have bendability at the knee, and the feet move up and down. So in terms of articulation, I think Four and uh, Giant Man here are probably the most articulate out of the bunch, and to be honest, they definitely look the coolest. And um, yeah, and here's the other ants. I did go ahead and um, open them up. Um, as you can see, they're kind of like a translucent color. You get these small ones, and then you get the big ones up. And yeah, they're just really cool. You can't really put Ant-Man on them because he's too big, but regardless, it's still kind of neat. So overall, I really like this set. Um, you get the main Avengers, um, and it's just really cool. It's nice to see them in their classic costumes. I really wish that Hasbro would eventually do something like this. Um, you know, nobody really makes gift sets anymore, and this thing was just so cool. It came out in 1999, and personally today, I do feel it holds up. You know, some of the things are a little outdated in terms of articulation and detail, but you have to remember, for 1999, for everything you're getting here, this was actually really good. This is top of the line, and some of it today, I think, like I said, I think it does still kind of hold up a little bit. 
little bit. I love the removable helmets for Ant-Man and Iron Man. I love the size of Giant Man, and I think uh, the cape material for four is pretty good, and is the hammer. And I also like that they tried to replicate Hulk's pose on the comic book. And the Wasp and Ant-Man, they also have articulation, which really is not easy to do on characters that small, so... I'm not gonna lie, I think this is an amazing set. Um, anytime I do a kind of like a throwback review, I kind of always mention that it's hard to recommend it just considering this stuff is not really kind of easy to find. Um, but you know, it is still available on some websites, you can kind of find it. And I recommend definitely if you can get a good deal on it, you know, definitely pick this up because it's really cool. Uh, it's all of the Avengers, how they first appeared in the original comic book, and it's pretty neat. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.